man. So, Andrew, uh, you shared with us a, a little bit of a firework mishap. It's a little dark, but I think you can kind of make out uh, bits and pieces. But if you wouldn't mind, can you narrate this for us? Okay, sure. I'll narrate it for you. I uh, went up to uh, Pennsylvania because, of course, Pennsylvanians can't buy buy air-based fireworks in Pennsylvania, but Marylanders can. So hop on across the line. I, only, I bought like 100 bucks worth of fireworks. And uh, my wife actually picked out this fine set of fireworks. She liked the, uh, they have a video screen that shows you what they all do. And she liked the little swirly tails on this one. So I picked it up and uh, apparently two of them went off at the same time, which just so happened to knock it over and uh, turn the backyard into a scene from the feature film platoon and uh yeah if you'd like to play this i'll uh i'll narrate further now as you'll see at the very beginning just standard good old-fashioned outdoor backyard fireworks maybe a little step up from your standard regular walmart brand fireworks so everything goes fine for about the first 15 seconds now i'm just gonna hit play on that bad boy you know pretty Ooh, good america reasonable Hell, look at that freedom yeah Right there. Oh, 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 danger. And all of a sudden you see a tree uh, kind of catch. And then uh, my wife runs uh, full tilt into the house. So I thought she was either going to throw my child off the deck or she was going to save his life. Um, you got to remember, though, that during this, I'm standing about, I don't know, 60 feet closer to the fireworks display, which is now tipped over in the yard. And somehow every blast of firework that went off somehow went between my body and the other side of my body, just like, vroom, vroom. felt like I was in the Matrix. Mm -hmm. It was, um, yeah, but they hit the house. They were bouncing off the house. When I got done, there was, like, sulfur dust just, like, all <laughs> over my deck. <laughs> that's an easy that's cleanup, awesome. though, right? That's just a little little elbow grease? No, that's just a little uh, laughter, and uh, the rain will take care of it. Gotcha. Fair enough. Well, damn, man. Happy, happy Fourth of July. I were, it's amazing with that out of state stuff because we we would occasionally dip up uh, up into the PA line or over over PA. Uh, although there was one in Northeast that if you had an out of state ID, you could buy it. And uh, Nick Antonin had one from New York for some. When he lived there for a hot minute and had his, had a New York ID. Uh, so to, we used to buy stuff. But I remember I was in South Dakota with uh with the family on a fourth of july and there's a period two weeks it's a week before and then maybe a couple days after fourth of july where anyone can buy them it's open market uh it doesn't matter you know where you live or where you're from and i bought a hundred dollars worth and my mom says hey because we drove out this is the summer after 9 11 so we didn't want to fly out my mom says hey do, do you want to uh do you want to take some back with you it's my treat and i was like oh yeah so i got her to buy me a hundred dollars worth then Oh, Grandpa, Big Wes, is like, hey, you're not going back to Maryland empty-handed, are you? I'll buy some fireworks for you. I was like, yeah, I don't have any. And Big Big Wes <laughs> dropped like 150 And I had to convince my mom that all this $350 worth of fireworks that was going to get driven across seven or eight state lines illegally, she bought all those. She was like, really? I, God, I don't, I don't think I bought this much. Said, yep, all you, 100%. So you bought off every last drip drop of these, and then we shot them off all summer. Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, I participated in some of the shooting <laughs> off of the uh, the fireworks. Um, man, this is this might this might lend itself better for asking for a friend, but <laughs> I think one of the greatest moments of my young life happened with those fireworks, and um, maybe a quick tour of Cecil County. <laughs> Yeah, I so said that, that you you weren't going to dive into a specific, but right? you were just saying the the the, the shooting of the fireworks in general. I, I I feel like if we get into specifics, I mean, is there a statute of limitations on any of this? I mean, I mean, not that we were doing anything illegally or anything, but yeah, I can I okay, all right, I'll tell one, uh, half of one. Uh, I just remember we we rolled up to a cow pasture, and I won't say where, mm -hmm. um, and one of your other brethren uh, had uh, basically twisted the fuses to a whole mess of black cats together. And it's like, watch this lights it and throws them. I don't know, like 20, 30 feet in the air above this like whole mess of cattle. And they just freak <laughs> and start basically stampeding through this field. <laughs> and then as, as we were moving away, uh, we, we lit off some Roman candles 
and it was like cow paintball with fireworks right. and it was amazing they called that's, uh, these, that's how we coined cecil county drive-by that's the yeah. that's how we coined the, that phrase and just to see the like the the fire the glowing fireballs like bouncing off these cow hides and just like exploding and bursting it was fucking amazing <laughs> oh it was it was glorious i just remember cackling the whole time barely able to like steady my fucking arm to be able to launch this roman candle off at him <laughs> there was there was a good week and a half two week long stretch every time we came back we made a point to stop at this uh, construction site that was building condos and push over a active uh used at the at the time uh construction site porta potty uh door down first every day and i can't imagine what those guys showing up to the site said so rude <laughs> Is it a hall's honey pot you I, son of a bitch <laughs> you're talking about nearly 20 years ago i don't know if i was looking to see what type of brand 